Our lesson for tonight is Lesson 7.6, Part 1, Rename Fractions and Mixed Numbers. Our essential question is, we're going to be focusing on the first part of our essential question. How can you rename mixed numbers as fractions greater than 1? So please turn with me to your Go Math book to Lesson 7.6. Let's look at number one. So what we're going to do with our mixed number here is we're going to change it into a fraction that is greater than one, so to an improper fraction. And what we're going to do is we're going to basically break it up into an addition problem to help us do that. So we need to look at our holes. Well, two and three fifths, I have two holes, and I can see here that my fractions are going to be out of fifths. So if I have two holes, I know that one of those holes is going to be five fifths. That's one hole. Another hole is going to be plus another five fifths, and then I have my fraction, three fifths. So then I can add five fifths plus five fifths plus three fifths, well, 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13. And then I would keep my denominator the same, which would be 5. So 2 and 3 fifths is the same as 13 fifths. Now, I can check this problem by the way that we learned it in the beginning of the year. We learned how to do multiplication and then, and then addition to figure out what our mixed number is as an improper fraction. So we could say 5 times 2 is 10 and 10 plus 3 is 13. So then we would have 13 and we keep the denominator the same, 13 fifths. If I were to show you a model of 2 and 3 fifths, you can see that I have my two holes, they're cut into fifths, and then I have my 3 out of 5 pieces shaded down here for my 3 fifths. And then I can see my improper fraction also, or my fraction greater than 1. So I can say that I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 pieces shaded in out of the fifths. Okay, let's look at number two. So I have four and one third. Well, I'm going to break my fraction apart so that I can turn it into an improper fraction. So I can see that I have four holes and each one is going to be out of thirds. So I'm going to have three thirds four times. So here is my four three-thirds, so my four holes. Three-third plus three-third plus three-third plus three-third. Well, I know that, that this is three, six, nine, twelve. And then I have my one-third right here. So twelve plus one is thirteen. So I would have thirteen-thirds. That would be what my fraction greater than one would be. Now let's check it using the multiplication and addition way. I can say 3 times 4, well that is 12, and 12 plus 1 is 13, and then I just keep my denominator, 13 thirds, that's what I got. Okay, let's look at number three. My mixed number is one and two fifths. So I wanna change one and two fifths to an improper fraction or a fraction greater than one. So first I need to break up my mixed number and I need to turn it into a di an addition problem. So I can see that I have one whole and that they're gonna be out of fifths because that's my denominator. So if I have one whole, that's equal to five fifths. Then I'm going to add my two fifths to that. So I can say five fifths plus two fifths. Well, that's seven fifths. So that's my fraction that is greater than one. You can see that it's an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. And I can see by my model that I have here that I have one whole and two fifths. And I can count as an improper fraction. I can count all the shaded parts. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shaded parts out of my fifths. 
Okay, let's look at number four. I have three and two thirds, and we want to change that to an improper fraction, or a fraction greater than one. So what I want you to do is go ahead and break up this mixed number and turn it into an improper fraction by using addition. Go ahead and press pause to do this, and press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, let's go over the answer. Now I had three holes and I know that they were out of thirds. So I need to have three thirds, I needed to have three three thirds. So I had three thirds plus three thirds plus three thirds, then I could add my two thirds here. So three plus three is six, six plus three is nine, and nine plus two is 11. And then I just keep my denominator the three. Now I could have checked my work by doing the multiplication and division way or multiplication and addition way. I could have said three times three is nine, and nine plus two is 11. And then I would have kept my denominator the same, 11 thirds. Okay, let's look at number five. I had four and one eighth, that's my mixed number. I need to change that to an improper fraction. So I know that I have four holes and they're out of eighths. So I know that one hole is going to be eight eighths, but I have four of those. So here are my four eight eighths. Eight eighths plus eight eighths plus eight eighths plus eight eighths, and then I can come and add my one eighths. So I should have basically eight times four, well that's 32, and 32 plus one is 33. So I should have had 33, and then I just keep my denominator in eight. So 33 eighths is my improper fraction. And remember, you can check that by doing the multiplication and addition way. So eight times four is 32, and 32 plus one is 33, and then keep my denominator the eight, 33 eighths. Okay, let's look at number six. We have our mixed number one and seven tenths, and you need to change that to an improper fraction by breaking it up into an addition problem. So go ahead and work out this problem and press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, let's go over the answer. If I had one hole, and I know that they were broken up into tenths, so my one hole would be 10 tenths. Then I could come and add my seven tenths. So 10 tenths plus seven tenths, well that equals 17 tenths. And I have my models here. I have one hole broken up into tenths, and they're all shaded. And then I have my model broken up to tenths here, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shaded out of 10. So if I counted up all my, sev all my shaded pieces, I would have 17 shaded pieces. Okay, here's number seven. I want you to turn our mixed number five and one half into an improper fraction by using addition. Go ahead and do this and press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, let's check our work. If I had five holes, and I know that each one is cut into halves because my denominator is two, so I'm gonna have two halves is equal to one whole. So I'm gonna have that five times because I have five holes. So two halves plus two halves plus two halves plus two halves plus two halves. Well, that's 10 halves. And 10 halves plus another half, well, that would be 11 halves. And I can check my work by saying five times two is 10 and 10 plus one is 11. And then I can keep my denominator the same, a two. Okay, let's look at number eight. Our mixed number is two and three eighths, and we're going to change two and three eighths to an improper fraction or a fraction greater than one by breaking it up into an addition problem. So go ahead and work on this and press play when you're ready to go over the answer. 
Okay, let's go over the answer. Well, I know that I have two holes because that's what my whole number here is telling me and that they're going to be out of eighths. So one hole is eight eighths plus another eight eighths because that makes two holes, then plus my fraction part, which is three eighths. Well, that equals 19 eighths. And I have a model here showing me that I have two holes that are cut into eighths and then I have my one, two, three eighths here, three out of eight shaded. If I counted up all my pieces, all my shaded pieces, I would have 19 shaded pieces. And remember, you can check your answer by doing addition and multiplication. I can say eight times two is 16. 16 plus three equals 19 and then I keep my denominator the eight, 19 eighths. Okay, here are the homework questions for tonight. Your homework questions are actually the two problem solving questions, number 17 and number 18. So that is what I want you to do for homework tonight. Now, the rest of the problems on this page are gonna be in our next video for homework. So we're gonna save those for later. So go ahead and do the two problem solving questions, number 17 and 18, that's your homework for tonight. Don't forget, when you get done with your homework, I want you to assess yourself. You need to tell me whether you feel like you're a novice, apprentice, practitioner, or expert. Put this next to problems 17 and 18. Here are the two homework problems again for tonight. Now I will see you tomorrow and we'll do some fun activities to practice. Bye!